Hello my friends web devs, welcome back! Today I'm bringing you another easy to follow step by step tutorial. We are gonna make together this profile card from scratch, okay? There is gonna be this picture, this nice effect, also those icons, their name, this tag in here, and on the social icons you're gonna have this nice hover effect and those info down below. We start right now. Alright, to start from scratch, we have here just this folder with two pictures inside of it. And this time I will use brackets because it's beginner friendly, okay? Let's create our page structure. Let's start by creating our index.html, okay? This is gonna be our first file. Let's save this one. And now let's create the our CSS file, okay, let's go to the file, new, and here, let's save, let's call this style.css, I'm doing this the easy way so you can understand everything, instead of using a keyboard, I'm using the menu so you can see everything, this is going to be our structure, okay, I'm going to use Emmet, and for Front Awesome, we are going to be using some social icons okay so we are gonna need those this icon we need also this link that's gonna connect our html to our css without this nothing works okay for the title let's say profile cards and now let's move to our uh, first of all let's see our page okay so we can code on the left and you can see the results in real time on the right. Let's create our profile card itself. Let's create the, for our first div. And this profile card is going to have two div, main divs. The top section and the bottom section. So let's create the first one, the top section. Inside this one, we're going to have two icons, okay, one that's going to be an envelope and another one a little bell. So let's start with this one. Remember that you, you, we are using this for Font Awesome. Let's copy this one, copy and paste. Okay, it looks like we have two envelopes, that's not the idea. So let's delete this one and let's change the class here. Let's type notif. And here, let's type bell. So now, as you can see on the right, we have two icons. We have the envelope and also the bell. Okay, now it's time for us to move to our picture, okay? We are still in the top section, but now we're going to move to our picture. Let's have a div pick and let's have our tag image. Let's point to our profile. That's the name of the picture. And as you can see, we have already two icons and this picture. Now we are going to move to another div. This one is going to be her name, okay? Let's call her Sarah Jones. And just to finish this section here, let's have one more div. This one is, is the class is going to be tag and it's going to be at Sarah Jones, okay? All right, you have our top section done. Now let's move to the second part of our HTML structure. Let's create our bottom section, okay? Okay, now let's create our social media div, okay? And inside this one, we're gonna have our links point to nowhere, okay? And in here, we're gonna have our icons coming from Font awesome. Let's change the class of this one. Let's type FA Facebook minus F. So you have the icon of Facebook from Font Awesome. Okay, let me copy this one and let's paste this three times here. Okay, one, two, and three times. It looks like we have four Facebook. That's not the idea. So let's change it. This one is gonna be Twitter. 
and let's move to the third one and this we're gonna have YouTube and let's go to the last one here okay it's gonna be Instagram this part of our bottom section is done so let's move to the, uh, that info down below okay let's create a div called videos let's say that she has 190 videos and let's put the name videos in the spam okay let's create one more div here this one is gonna be subscribers let's say that she has 204 k subscribers let's type subscribers inside our spam okay let me type subscribers and now let's go to the last one okay the last part of our bottom section is gonna be this div let's call it views let's say she, she is very famous she has 7.3 millions of views and of course the name views is gonna be inside our spam okay all right that's it we just create our profile card structure using just HTML now let's give it some style using CSS all right let's go to our CSS okay our CSS reset here margin and padding zero Font family is gonna be open sales, so serif, box size in here, border box, and text decoration, let's say none, okay? Next step here, we're gonna move to the body. Let's grab our background and make it full screen, okay? Background, let's choose this one. And no repeat, center. Background size, of course, is gonna be cover. And mean height of 100 VH, make it a full screen, okay? For layout, let's choose flex, okay? Now let's put our content in the center, okay? With align item center and also justify content center, okay? Now let's style our profile card itself. Let's pick a size and center it, okay? With four. 20 pixels this overflow hidden here okay and text align center position is going to be relative and the very important part here is going to be our box shadow okay uh, 10 pixels blur and choose this color here okay now let's give some padding and the background color to our top section Six pixels top and top and bottom, forty left and right, and let's choose this color here for the background. Okay, is this nice blue? Now let's grab our icons here on the top, the envelope and the bell. Let's give a position of absolute top forty pixels. Font size, let's make it a little bigger, twenty pixels all right cursor pointer and let's give them this gray color okay this light gray color here f f f f 50 okay now let's put them on the right corner okay the first one the top right corner with 40 pixels let me do the same to the bell left 40 pixels put it right on the left okay now let's grab our picture here let's give one 180 and the height also 180 that's the size all right let's grab our picture image Let's give it some size, okay? 100% of its parent and the height also 100% of its parent, okay? To make it uh, round, let's use about the rate of 50%, as you, as you can see. It works always. And let's go back to the picture here and give some 
margin, okay? Margin auto. Margin bottle here is gonna be 20 pixels. Let's get some bottle here. Two pixels solid and let's use this color here, okay? Again, let's make it round. This time we're gonna make this using, of course, body radius. Padding is gonna be 80 pixels. Position, let's use relative. Now let's use this pseudo class element here, okay? We're gonna be using this one to our nice effect on the picture. Content here, there is nothing. Width is gonna be 100% and the height also 100% position is gonna be absolute and let's create now the border itself okay let's give it just one pixel solid and let's use this pick this color here let's put it in the center here so let's use left to zero and top zero putting it right in on the middle box sizing border box make it route with border but the radius 50%. Now let's give it animation. Let's use animation. Let's call it wave 1.5 infinite linear. Now let's create the animation itself, okay? Let's create our keyframes. Let's call it wave 2. Let's transform. Let's use this K 1.5. It's going to be bigger and opacity is gonna be zero okay now let's go to the easy part of it let's go to the name let's target her name here set it joins let's give a color and a size let's make it bigger let's give it let me see 25 pixels and text transform is gonna is gonna make it uppercase okay Let's do the same with the tag here. Let's make it a little bigger and give some nice color, okay? For size 18 pixels and the color here is gonna be this two, two, two. Now let's tag to our bottom section, okay? And this one, let's pick a color, is gonna be BDC3C7, okay? Let's also give it some padding. It's gonna be six pixels top and bottom and 40 pixels left and right, okay? And for position, it's gonna be relative. Now let's move to our social media, okay? Let me give some space here. And let's type social media. Let's give a position of absolute with of 100% and top minus 30 minus 30 pixels all right left is gonna be zero yeah try to put it right in the middle okay and Z index of one now let's target our social media icons okay let me copy this and paste all right Let's give it a size with 60 pixels, height also 6 pixels. Let's give it a background color of ACF0F1. Now let's make it round, you know how. You can use a body radius 50%. Font size, let's make it a little bigger, 20 pixels. Line height, uh, 6 pixels, important, okay. and. Let's go to the margin, okay? Top and bottom is gonna be zero. Left and right is gonna be 10 pixels, okay? All right, let's use our pseudo class after or social media icons, okay? We're gonna have those nice hover effect. Content here is gonna be nothing, okay? Let's give it a width 100% and height also 100%. The position here is going to be absolute. And very important here, we need a, a background color. It's going to use the same we have been used for a while here. Okay. And 
Let's put it in the center with left zero and top also zero. Uh, box size in here, let's choose border box. And to make it round, you're going to use, of course, border radius, okay? Let's give a Z index of minus one. And let's give a transition of dot for seconds and it's gonna be linear, okay? Position here uh, is gonna be a relative, okay? Or social media icons. Now let's go to our social media hover effect itself, okay? We're gonna have hover after here. We're gonna change the scale with transforming scale 1.4 and also the opacity okay so as you can see we have this nice hover effect on our social icons okay we have this one in the picture and this one on the social icons this is a nice profile card with a lot of nice effects hover effect and, and this infinite effect itself our bottom section here is going to be flex let's go back to our html and Add this border, okay, this div called border, one after the videos and another one after subscribe. And now let's tag that, okay? Our border here is gonna be one with one pixel. Let's give it height of 20 pixels. And let's also give it a background, okay? Margin here is gonna be zero top and bottom and 30 pixels left and right. All right. Let's give it a size, okay, let's, it's gonna be 20, 28 pixels, text transform is gonna be upper case, all right? Looks like it's too big, but we're gonna fix it right now. We're gonna target our spam, okay? For that, let's copy this one and paste, and let's target our spam. The font is gonna be 14 pixels, and display is gonna be block and as in as you can see it's much better now okay you can see the nice this nice effect here okay we have the hover effect on our social icons we are gonna continue on them for a while okay right now let's use the on color okay let's start with Facebook let's change the color it's gonna be this 187 okay now let's tag it to the second one, our Twitter. Let's also give it its color 1GA1F2. Okay. Let's go to the Instagram and also change its color to C32A3. Okay. And now let's go to the last one. Okay. Let's to go to YouTube. And let's give it color, okay? It's gonna be FF and four zeros, okay? That's it, we did it. You should be proud of yourself. We did a nice project together. If you like this video, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss our weekly videos. Thumbs up and see you in our next videos.